bruises on her neck, blood on her head, dead for about two and a half hours, death possibly from head trauma, alone, wallet gone, scraped on the back of her pants. I've got it. I'm sorry. I've come up with a theory of how this woman could have been murdered. All right, let's hear it. Well, to start, the only thing that seems to be missing here is her wallet. The robbery must have started out as a normal one, but the outcome was not how the thief had intended. The thief tried grabbing her purse like any other mugging and threatened her with a gap, but didn't intend on using it. However, she started screaming for help, so he grabs her throat, trying to quiet her and knock her out. However, she keeps on resisting and fighting back, so he slams her head into the pavement and like hard enough to kill her. And the evidence is shown here on the bruises on her neck and the wound on her head. That actually makes a lot of sense. Wish I thought of it myself. Thanks, Burns. Well, as soon as we get more backup here, we should probably go head back and tell Boss Theory. All right, sounds like a plan. All right. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Uh, I'm I heard about the update on the case yesterday. Yeah, Hobbs told her theory to the boss, and he seemed to really like it. He gave the case to the, another branch so they could finish it off. Yeah, well, I just told me she got a promotion. What? You're kidding. No, she took the day off to celebrate with her brother. Why would our boss give her the promotion? I was there too. I've done more for this station than she has. I mean, I've solved a lot of great cases. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry to hear about that, Jessica. I, I would offer to talk about it over coffee, but I have a date tonight. Hot date? No, just Audrey. I asked her to dinner after she got the promotion. Oh, I should get back to work. Yeah. I just can't believe this. I mean, I do so much for this station, and Hobbs gets the damn promotion, and the guy... Uh, Hobbs got uh, the theory right. The boss is really impressed. Yeah, I also heard that you figured it out right on the spot. That's incredible. Yeah, so Sally was uh, thinking about throwing a little uh, office party. Celebrate. Yeah, she deserved it. I'm happy for her. Okay, so, yeah. I'm out of coffee. Let's go. I gotta step up my game. I'll show Hobbs what it's like to solve a case. Morning, Burns. Morning. Hey, where were you today? Oh, uh, just took the day off to go out with my brother, that's all. But yeah, celebration or something? Um, yeah, you could say that. Hmm. Did your brother get a raise or something? Uh, no, actually it was for me. I got a promotion. Oh, yeah, congratulations, Hobbs. Thanks. Uh, so, I heard we're on a new case. Yeah, happened yesterday. Driver stabbed the pick around 5.20. Uh, is the scene still there? I believe so, yeah. The guys have been working there all night. Alright, let's check that then. Sorry to interrupt, the boss needs you to run something. Right now I'm on a case. Yeah, you said to do it ASAP. Alright, Burns, can you finish up here, just collect the evidence and bring it back to the lab? Yeah, sure thing. Alright, see ya.
Yes, the case you're on. The results are back. Oh yeah, do we have any leads on who the guy is? Unfortunately, we do. What do you mean by unfortunately? Well, we have some evidence that points to Hobbs being the murderer. The pick that we brought back was his. That's unbelievable. What, what do you want to do with me? Listen, we have Hobbs detained right now. She took the day off yesterday, and her alibi is that she was celebrating with her brother and then had a date with Andrew. I need you to interview those people and get the scoop. All right, I'm on it, boss. Oh, and Burns, if you can crack this wide open, there may be a promotion in it for you. You can count on me, boss. Hi, Jeremy Hobbs. Yeah, that's me. Detective Burns, I'm here to ask you a few questions about yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, come on in. this about? I just need your sister's whereabouts yesterday. Uh, about Audrey? Uh, yeah, she came over at about, like, noon yesterday to, to celebrate her promotion. And how long did she stay for? Uh, honestly, I can't tell you. Uh, I can't really tell you anything that happened, like, after four. I had a few drinks and, you know, uh, next thing you know, I woke up in the morning and she was just gone. So, you guys got drunk at four in the afternoon? Uh, okay, look, it was an exciting moment for my sister, and I went a little overboard. Is that so bad? Well, was your sister as far off as you were? Uh, oh no, uh, you see, I, uh, I have a bit of a complicated relationship with alcohol. Um, Audrey, she didn't really get that drunk, she just had a few beers, she was just a bit tipsy. So, let me get this straight. Your sister came over at noon, you started drinking at four, you essentially blacked out, and don't remember her leaving? Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright, well, thank you for your time, Mr. Hobbs. Uh, no problem, detective, but can you tell me what- you never answered my question, what is all this about? I just had to confirm Audrey Hobbs' alibi. Uh, is there something wrong? Is she in trouble? Only time will tell, Mr. Hobbs. Jessica, what's this all about? Don't worry, it's for a case. I just had to ask you a few questions. Go ahead. Okay, so I understand that you went on a date with Audrey Hobbs yesterday. Mm. Yep, it was rough. Why is that? Well, she was a little bit late. That was annoying. So what time was your actual date supposed to start, and then what time did she get there? It was 6.30, and she didn't get there until 6.50! Was she at least apologetic about it? <sighs> Well, she seemed a little out of it. How so? I don't know, you know, it's like we were there, but she, it's like her mind wasn't, you know? It's like her mind was somewhere else. Mm, interesting. All right, I think we're done here. Thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. Are the handcuffs really necessary, Burns? Standard procedure hops, you know the drill. Anyone suspected of murder needs to be cuffed. Murder, what do you mean? You're a suspect in the jogger murder that we found today. What? Why? Burns, we've been friends for years. You know I wouldn't do something like that. Look, can you just tell me your whereabouts from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Friday night? I told you I was at my brother's house celebrating. Yeah, well, unfortunately, your brother can't confirm that. You see, he doesn't remember anything from past 4 p.m., so he doesn't even remember you leaving. I can't believe this. I keep telling him he needs to find someone to help him with his drinking problem. But I was on a date with Andrew at 6.30. He can vouch for that. Yes, well, we already asked Andrew, and you see, you showed up 20 minutes late to your date. Crap, that's right. But I was helping my vomiting drunk little brother, and I was having car engine issues. I'm sorry, hon. You got no alibi. Okay, no alibi, whatever. But where's the actual evidence that I killed the guy? The evidence? Yes, the evidence. About this evidence, oh, crime scene photos, and most importantly, your pick, the murder weapon found at the crime scene. What? This can't be right. I, I've been framed. I have no motive for this. Ah, uh, yes. Motive. 
You see, coming off your high from your new promotion, you drank a little bit too much. And you know what? You lost it. Okay, you murdered that jogger, Hobbs. I did not. I've been framed. This isn't right. Sorry, Hobbs. There's nothing I can do. You're under arrest. They're coming for you soon. This is wrong. I'm innocent. I've been framed, Burns. I tell you, I'm innocent. No, I used to envy you, Hobbs. Hey, Burns. I almost forgot to tell you. Congratulations on the promotion. Oh, thanks. Must have done a lot of hard work. You have no idea. I'll show Hobbs what it's like to solve a case. You ready to head out to dinner, Jessica? Yeah, of course. Let's go.